the topics that you that you have in uh, under finance mm-hmm. as far as i understand who uh, me being a person who is not too heavy into finance content right. right there are very limited number of topics there are limited number of things to talk about right. we had barely open in it talk about what's happening currently right so we have never ending topics yeah, yeah. but for people like you and other fintech uh, finance creators it's very difficult to come up with these topics how are you even you know getting into it like how are you even finding so many topics to talk so about so Rohit, very honestly, that was like my initial hypothesis that okay, like there are so many, there are only so many things to talk about. You'll talk about okay, mutual fund, invest, कर लो, index fund में कर लो. Correct. You'll then talk about अच्छा large cap fund है, small cap है. Then you'll talk about अच्छा taxation देख लो अब. Then you'll talk about अच्छा insurance भी देख लेते हैं. Then you'll talk about अच्छा emergency fund भी बना लो. Fair. Like only five six things to broadly cover, Correct. which is very very true. But then I think finance as a niche is also ever evolving. Number one, and also there are like so many ifs and buts to every rule that exists. Mm. So the permutations and combinations are endless. Mm. So the way I figured it out for me personally, how it worked out was that once I covered the basics, I started really deep diving into the comments that I was getting and the DMs that I was getting. So mm. if you go back to my reels even now, and there's something that I've mentioned on Samarth's podcast also, and they. Check the hypothesis and came out to be true. Is that if you go to my reels, you'll see that I try to reply to each and every comment regardless of the intent of Correct. the person. Like whether it's a hate comment, whether it's a positive feedback, negative feedback, whether it's purely like oh cringe content, stop making. Even if it's that comment, I will reply. I'll never delete your comment That's or amazing. I'll never like mute or anything. um uh, it's okay if people want to give an opinion that's great uh, on most days i will take the feedback in mm. a very very in the right spirit of course everybody has their down days right of course that's when you don't have you ever been in the situation where like you know just screw you man what the fuck are you saying yaar i've never done that mm. i've obviously thought that to myself ki bhai <laughs> chup kar ja but i've never said that out loud so i'll be i'll be very honest because i think um, it only gives them more validation that oh it's it's getting something out of you right so mm. i never do that i mm. either don't reply to such comments or i just reply with like as much kindness as i possibly can got it, as got a deliite <laughs> <laughs> so i think that's pretty much it but i think one positive that's come out of that experience is that not only have i gotten free feedback from people mm. uh, who didn't want to, me to improve but ultimately i ended up improving ended up because in, of them mm. Like like somebody I remember commented saying कि क्या टट्टी audio audio है इसका and I was like यार सही बोल रही है बंदा तो that's when I invested in my first mic so I was like thank you यार like I never thought about it honestly probably somebody from Delhi <laughs> not even surprised but awesome so yeah so basically the thing is that as active as you are in like your DMs and your comments. that's the level of engagement that your audience also expects from you and then they give feedback also Got so it. if they see that a creator is not even responding to their dms or their comments on a reel that they posted like an hour back they'll stop commenting hmm. and yeah what i also understand is that that's what the least i can do for my audience very honestly because when i s- see like videos on instagram hmm. i usually just double tap on it and then i move forward mm-hmm. with my life i never take out the time to comment on it so if somebody is taking out the time to give you feedback or if somebody is giving the time out to give you a compliment the least amount of work that you can do is reply back with correct. like oh thank you so much correct so i think that's the least work that you can do for your audience and i would want to do it for as long as it's like plausible Possible. for me mm-hmm. so my idea is that for the first 24 to 48 hours i'm very very active on the reel that i post mm-hmm. very like i reply to every comment mm. every question every if and but and if i don't reply it there and then if I, because if i believe that oh the answer is going to be a lot more complicated than like one simple sentence then i make a different reel on it got it got so it. yeah so i think that's been my process and it's worked out wonderfully 